Milan's Piccolo Teatro has for decades staged the works of the world's greatest writers. But this morning, in the cold January air, the public gathered not to celebrate a great name of theatre, but a great name of industry, Pirelli. Because on this day, January the 28th in 1872, a young entrepreneur, Giovanni Battista Pirelli, founded his company in Milan. And today, Pirelli is celebrating its 150th anniversary. This remarkable achievement puts Pirelli among a very select group of companies that have been able to span three centuries. Evolving, adapting, and thriving from the late 19th century to the early 21st century. From the industrial age to the digital, surviving great historical upheavals and keeping a pace of every new technological challenge, always with an eye to the future. The company, of course, has very deep roots in Milan and is an important part of Italian history. But from the beginning, it has always had an international vocation. Its factories are now present in 12 countries and the event was live-streamed to Pirelli's more than 30,000 employees to every factory and office. To tell such a long and complex story, the on-stage event combined two alternating forms, theatrical reconstructions and panel discussions, in which Pirelli was examined from various perspectives, from its history to its international dimension, from its cultural engagement to sustainability, from its factories to its continuous commitment to innovation. Pirelli's executive vice chairman and CEO, Marco Tronchetti Provera, said, The sense of appartenance is the force of Pirelli. It's an company that continues to look at the future, conscious of its past. The theatrical reconstructions began with a moment early in the last century in New York, when the elongated, stretchy P in the founder's signature inspired the company's now iconic logo. While during the panel discussion, among others, the world-famous architect Renzo Piano reflected on his design for Pirelli's factory near Turin, and the head of Formula One, Stefano Domenicali, explained how Pirelli's technological know-how is of fundamental importance for the world's fastest racing competition. Alberto Pirelli struck a more personal note. He remembered his grandfather, a namesake as an innovator, who oversaw an important phase of geographic expansion at the company. The things he cared about still characterize the company today. R&D, innovation, cutting-edge technology, sustainability, and employee welfare. The event at the Piccolo was only the start of a series of initiatives and celebratory events that will take place throughout 2022 in different locations and contexts. From a countdown across four cities in the world leading up to the company's birthday, to a new advertising campaign that reinterprets the historic payoff, Power is Nothing Without Control, to dedicated events in Pirelli's key markets. Overall, it was a unique and enjoyable way to celebrate an important milestone. A great Italian industrial story told on stage in a great Italian theatre. Auguri, Pirelli!